for a line graph on wind speed, um, you've got the tab already on your template. Um, third tab along uh, in the bottom left hand corner says wind speed and I've set it up um, with the dates um, here. Obviously change the dates if you collect the data on different dates. Um, this is just an example of how to set it out. Uh, we've got the headings date and we've got the heading wind speed and you'll notice that we've got the, the units in the heading. So we don't need to put the units into the boxes when we put in our data. I'm going to make up data. Um, so let's go with 11 miles per hour, 15 miles per hour. Uh, then it got a bit windier um, and then it settled down a little bit. I'm just making up this data, but you will put the data in from your log sheet. All right. Um, and then we're going to insert a graph. So you've done this before. Insert recommended charts. And we need a line graph. So this is where you have to know the type of graph that you need because it will give you different options. Um, change over time, you need a line graph. So that top one that's highlighted, click OK, and that comes in here. Again, changing um, the axis titles, um, you'll need to add axis titles, but you'll see that the heading already goes in. Um, so I'm going to add chart element, axis title, primary horizontal is the date. And oh, click back on it. Um, add chart element axis titles primary vertical is wind speed and we always put the unit all right so you can see that we get the um, information for wind speed in Edinburgh uh, to add a second column um, we need to go back up here and we'll add in Edinburgh And we'll add the second column, um, let's just extend that a little bit, um, C1, wind speed, MPH. I'm going to use my example of Stornoway. Um, always a bit windier in Stornoway, so we'll give it uh, 25, 18. I'm just making up these figures, but you will uh, put in your, your own. OK, and then we highlight all of that. So I'm just showing you two ways. One to do a wind speed graph for one location. You might choose to have two um, line graphs to compare here, or you might choose to put the data on the same graph. So if I go um, insert recommended charts and we get the line graph. All right. And then, as we've talked about already, um, wind speed. MPH I might want that on a second line okay just don't forget to label your axis and I'm going to different way around this time but just always make sure you've got both axes labeled date okay so there I've shown you how to make um, a graph for one location you might choose to have two of this type and um, one for each location if you find that um, clearer um, or you might choose to put both data sets on the same graph for comparison and um, here we can see the key is important we need to know that the blue line is for Edinburgh and the orange line is for Stornoway. Here, you can change the colors around um, however you wish. All right, if you're hand drawing it, it's a line graph on graph or squared paper. I hope that helped.